What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, everybody, check it out, man. So we got a little bit of a clown off this uh, weekend right now in the box office uh, with Joker 2 going up against Terrifier 3. Now, Joker 2, you guys already know how I feel about that. Don't go and watch that movie. Do not go and watch Joker 2, Folly I Do. Joker 2 is a garbage movie. It's trash. It absolutely destroys the original film. Don't watch it. If you go and watch it, you only got yourself to blame. Don't be coming on my channel. Don't be dropping in the comments talking about oh man i can't believe i watched this trash yeah i told you not to watch it all right i've been telling y'all that since over a week ago all right so do not go and watch joker 2 it's garbage however terrifier 3 oh terrifier 3 i've been looking forward to this one all right saw terrifier 2 a couple of years back terrifier 2 was amazing went and followed up with that watch terrifier 1 terrifier 1 is good or terrifier and then terrifier 2 look you guys know i've been saying that we need new horror icons all right we need the new horror icons we've been baking a lot on jason Voorhees, um you know freddy krueger michael myers it's like hey let's get some new horror icons in the mix that we can love uh, Terrifier 3 with Art the Clown. Absolutely looking forward to this. I've been waiting on this movie to come out for a long time. Look, I'm looking forward to this, all right? I'm looking forward to this movie. I cannot wait to watch this. Uh, and look, we already know how Joker 2 has been doing. All right, Joker 2 has been absolutely getting dog walked. 33% on the tomato meter, that's the critics. 31% from the audience score, all right? This thing is absolutely getting destroyed. Again, D Cinema Score. D Cinema Score for a superhero movie is absolutely embarrassing, all right? However, uh, yeah, Terrifier 3 also has some reviews in the books, all right? 41 reviews to be exact, and it's sitting at an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. 80% on the tomato meter. Now, normally we don't give a shit what the critics think uh, because the critics are bought and paid for shills, all right? They get their goodie bags in exchange for a positive review. Um, however, Damien Leone, yeah, he ain't got that kind of bread. He ain't got the kind of bread to pay for good reviews for his movie. So honestly, when it comes to these more independent style movies where these where we know these guys ain't bought and paid for, uh, yeah, this is probably as legitimate a score as you're going to get. Uh, so yeah, 80%, that's dope. All right, that's dope. That's a great review uh, for Terrifier 3. Again, as compared to the Joker, Folly Odd Doll, all right, Folly Odd Bullshit uh, sitting at 33% uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, so the critics are definitely rocking with Terrifier 3 uh, more than they are with Joker, Folly Odd Bullshit. So, yeah, look at this, man. They're talking about this thing might actually beat uh, Joker 2 at the domestic box office uh, this weekend. Let's see what folks have to say about that. Uh, this guy talking a lizard said I had two Joker tickets in my car and someone broke in and left three more. <laughs> Yeah, man, you're trying to get rid of them Joker tickets like, damn it, why did I buy that crap? <laughs> That's too funny, man. I speak for the art army. We will be number one. So this guy already got his reservation uh, 8 p.m. on Thursday. Yeah, that's the time I'm going. I'm going to be out there at uh, Burbank uh, and I will be dropping a out of the theater review uh, tomorrow night after 8 p.m. I will be seeing that. So 8 p.m. Pacific time. I'm going to go and check it out and I'm going to let y'all know what I think. You know, I have a lot of high hopes for it. I love Terry. Terrifier 2. I thought Terrifier 1 was solid as well. So we'll see what Art the Clown has in store for us uh, next. Uh, Art is the better clown. I mean, this guy ain't even the Joker, right? You know, this jackass right here, uh, Folly I do, this ain't even really the Joker. You know, so yeah, it's a definitely a better clown just on that alone. Uh, not hard to beat Joker 2 is literally rated lower than Morbius, bruh. How did you could you ever see this coming that Joker would be less than Morbius? We're talking about the biggest comic book villain of all time coming on the heels of a billion dollar movie flopping in the box office, flopping spectacularly in the box office uh, because Todd Phillips is an idiot because Todd Phillips had a message to tell, you know. And he didn't want to pay any reference, any respect, not only to the character, but to the fans that made his movie a hit. He didn't want to pay any respect to those people. He just went out and made some old bullshit. All right. It's just absolutely incredible that the Joker lost out to Morbius. But that's what happens, man. That's what happens when you don't care about your fan base. Uh, what? No way in hell. The Joker fell off. <laughs> Gotta be sturdy. Studied. Yeah, studied. There's nothing really to study, all right? This is part and parcel to what Hollywood has been giving us over the last 10 to 12 years. 
They take over franchises and then they just run them into the ground. They don't care if they're doing any fidelity to the source material. They don't care if they're even making a good movie that fans will like. The only thing they care about is just, hey, we got a good uh, character. We got this big franchise. Let's milk it for all it's worth. And so that's why the Joker loses to Morbius. That's exactly how something like that happens. It don't need to be studied. It is what it is, man. Uh, Joker 2 range uh, should be wider. Could fall under $10 million. Morbius was only $10.2 million, and this has been pacing behind it. Yeah, so they're, they're giving you the weekend forecast. Uh, Terrifier 3, 12 to $18 million. Uh, Joker 2, Folly I Do, 10 to $15 million. And then all of these other movies, Wild Robot, Saturday Night. There's no way in hell that the Joker, after coming off of a billion-dollar hit, should be sitting in second place, number one, the Terrifier 2. That's number one. But number two, it should be dropping this hard. This is embarrassing, but again, this is what happens when Hollywood takes over a franchise and they don't give a damn about it. The fans check out. I hope nobody goes and watches this. Do not watch this movie at all if you haven't seen it yet. All right, don't do it. Don't reward Warner Brothers for making this bullshit and, and disrespecting you as an audience. Do not reward them with any money. It's bad. This thing should be under a million dollars based on how bad that movie is. Don't do it. All right. Go watch Terrifier 3, especially if you're a horror fan, because I think it's going to be phenomenal. <laughs> Not Joker losing to Timu Joker. <laughs> hey, look, Timu Joker is great. All right. Y'all can laugh and clown at it all you want to. Terrifier 2 was phenomenal. I'm looking forward to Terrifier 3. Uh, I'll go see Terrifier just to help out. I've never seen a Terrifier movie. Look, you better be ready, man. Look, uh, the Canadian dream, you better be ready, all right? I mean, we've heard some crazy stories coming out of Terrifier 3. Uh, yeah, this article on Screen Rant, is Terrifier 3 really that violent? Why it makes people throw up, all right? Yeah, I don't think there was anything in Terrifier 2 that was making, you know, me personally get sick to the stomach, but apparently a lot of people, you know, in Terrifier 2 and apparently in Terrifier 3 as well, you know, it gives them a little bit of a queasy stomach, you know? It gives them a little bit of a queasy stomach, like, ooh, you know, I, I don't know about this, all right? So be careful if you're eating popcorn and soda and you're drinking all kinds of heavy, you know, like ice cream. They be having ice cream at movies and all kinds of shit. Be careful, all right, if you're going to see Terrifier 3, because apparently this thing is, might, you know, it might upset your stomach, all right? The gore in Terrifier 2 was great, all right? If you are a gore hound, if you like blood and guts, man, you would love Terrifier 2. You will absolutely love it. I, I absolutely suggest you watch Terrifier 2 if you haven't seen it, just to know what you're getting yourself into before you move to Terrifier 3, all right? I believe Art the Clown can be an amazing horror icon if people start rocking with him because I thought that he was hilarious. He was fun in that uh, in the last movie, Terrifier 2. I saw it in the theaters. I saw it with a packed crowd. Everybody loved it, man. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Terrifier 3. I think it's going to be absolutely hilarious, man. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Art is killing it. Yeah, man, he really is. Uh, man, Joker 2 is still the better film. Look, man, <laughs> don't get me started, bro. It is like literally the worst movie um, of the year, all right? I think I'm ready to say that Joker 2 is the worst movie of the year, and it's not even close, all right? I would rather watch Madam Web again, uh, probably because Terrifier 3 is actually good, exactly. Uh, not surprising, considering Art is, a, is the more iconic clown. Man, don't go there, all right, Ronnie Pugs. He's not the more iconic clown, but based on how they did Joker... In Joker 2, Folly I Do, yeah, he's definitely better than Joker 2. Yeah, let's not go there. Uh, Joker was a massive flop with high expectations. Man, look, Joker was just trash, man. Joker was trash. And look, I'm curious, what did uh, the critics say about Terrifier 3? And this guy, Eric Goldman, said, Leon's skills as a director have improved, though the pacing of his scripts could still use some work. But this is the best Terrifier movie yet and delivers everything that fans of the series will want to see. Good. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, this is the goriest of the bunch. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. But also the funniest. Look, Art the Clown is hilarious, man. It's a great character, a great slasher icon. I'm looking forward to seeing this guy take off. Uh, Art kills people. This is Fred Tope. Uh, Art kills 
kills people as gratuitously as ever, mocking his victim as he mimes responses to their painful screams. Uh, this time, Art adds a childlike wonder at Christmas and Santa uh, to his disarming repertoire and Christmas acatorments. Wow, man, this guy is really busting out the uh, thesaurus on this. Uh, add to that macabre humor. Yeah, so look, this is going to be obviously great. Uh, Christian Toto, look, we know Christian Toto ain't going to rock with this. Uh, three equal finds, Art the Clown getting tangled up in Christmas wrapping in. Christian Toto probably never would like uh, a horror movie on this level. Uh, but look, man, I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait to see it. Uh, Terrifier 3, um, it looks like it's going to be another good one. I'm really looking forward to seeing what it does. I'm looking to forward to see, um, you know, some hilarity, hijinks from Art. Uh, and I'm looking to see how the box office does. I think the box office is going to blow Joker away. All right. And it deserves to because Terrifier 3 is made with love, with respect. Uh, Damien Leon, he's a fun filmmaker. I like his work. Uh, whereas the Joker 2, Folly I Do, it was made as a kind of a middle finger to the fans that like the original. You know, so why would we reward Warner Brothers or DC or Todd Phillips or Joaquin Phoenix or anybody associated with that movie? Why would we re reward them with a good box office? Nah, fuck that movie. Don't even watch it, okay? I've already said this. I've been saying it for over a week and a half. Do not watch Joker 2, all right? It's just a terrible movie, and it doesn't deserve any more money, all right? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Look for my Out of the Theater review for Terrifier 3. I'm looking forward to this. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.